back from the gym uh, but I'm on my way out again but before I go back out I want to show you something okay because you know I'm always very real with you right I was just about to pick up my bag to go out <laughs> because <laughs> I rushed out this morning to the gym. I mean, I make the beds and all that, but I literally rushed out to the gym. Okay, this is where I left my shoes and boots last night, literally. I left the jumbo sitting there because I was, had to, you know, I, you know, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know, I was in a rush to edit. We were in late, eat, blah, blah, blah. And the bag had no time. So I didn't want to just throw it on the shelves like that you know because i was i was gonna empty it so i sat it there to empty pack put away but by the time i finished editing i was too tired and i left it there and now i'm gonna use it again because i need to rush out i don't even have the time to change out my gym gear so i'm just going like this get my trainers back on and um go back out because uh, i need to go and see an estate agent basically <laughs> like so see Jumbo just dresses up the gym outfit. Here we go. Hello my friends. Welcome to Burns Night. Today is the 25th of January and I've only just started vlogging and it is what time is it? Why is this saying I've, I'm doing a workout? Anyway, it is quarter past six in the evening. <laughs> Do you know what I have done today? I have totally wasted my time. Is it wasted? I have been watching bag videos. I haven't done that for such a long time. And oh my goodness me, I did not realize how many people had the Prada Crystal reissue bag. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I knew it was like the end bag because I could see it coming in my feed. But you know, like I've been seeing, I um, haven't really been watching unboxings i don't really watch bag reviews and all that unless it's a bag i'm interested in i haven't been in haven't been interested in a bag for a very very long time until sunday so obviously i've seen like my youtube friends that have unboxed their prada crystal bag but I don't, my goodness i was like that scrolling through all the the unboxings or the reviews or whatever of the of the crystal bag okay first of all i'm gonna say again oh my goodness thank you so much for, first of all i've already i mean if for those of you that have been watching the vlogs i've already thanked you for all the hearts that you gave me the first night when i asked you to leave me a heart if you had watched so much of the video which is towards the end of the video because it really does help me it helps my channel um if you do watch the video to the end and i did say to you if you don't watch it to the to the end let it run at least to the end you don't have to watch it just let it run put a, a give you a thumbs up and leave a heart or something if you can't be bothered making a comment and, and, and I asked you if you would leave a, a heart in that video to let me know to see who could who had actually watched to the end <laughs> oh, oh oh and then in last night's vlog I had said if you've watched to this end can you let me know but i actually really 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 wanted to know which bag um you preferred the alexa or the prada bag i have actually just sat down here now and counted them so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for all of you that watched the video to the end and left me uh, a comment as to see if you preferred the alexa or the prada okay so 17 of you preferred the Alexa and 18 of you preferred the Prada. How close was that? And I had one, two, three, four, five people. Can I say three of them were YouTube friends of mine? <laughs> Left a comment but didn't say whether they preferred the Alexa or the Prada. What does that tell you? <laughs> They didn't watch the video to the end. I mean, I know, sometimes you, you're bored. You don't want to watch. But come on, girls. You should know, let it run. <laughs> come on. Don't do that to your YouTube friends. <laughs> okay, I mean, we've all done it. We've all done it. Some, sometimes you get called away. 
something because I I'm one of those people that will comment whilst watching a video like last night for example I was watching a video I left a comment and I had to stop and go and do something but I would come back so I come and you know sometimes I come, sometimes I might come back to a video the next day so girls I will forgive you this once if you are watching this far <laughs> okay so right let's talk about let's quickly let's let's have a, a brief chat about the alexa and the prada right a lot of you not a lot of you some of you were saying about worrying about whether the crystals um would fall off okay this is a gina bag this was the bag i carried to my son's wedding my eldest son and if you've been with me for a while you know this bag has has many stories anyway i've carried this bag a few times to weddings to me see when you go to a wedding you carry a clutch bag this this is a dressy bag i don't know if the crystals are gonna catch but these are swarovski crystals this is satin have i marked it it has got marks on it and it's got marks on the inside because it's a light colored bag and it's gonna mark so if I were to buy the white um, Prada crystal bag, I expect it to mark because this has marked, you know, because you've got to enjoy the bag. Listen, when your son's getting married, the last thing you're going to worry about is your bag. And remember the story I told you when Kelly, I'll quickly tell you because I know there's a lot of new people on the channel, but I'll, quick, I'll quickly tell you the story again. Sorry, sorry if you've heard the story. But um, when Kelly and Costa got married, Kelly needed to go for the pee pee of course she was wearing the big white dress and she's Andrew I need help come with me but you know Kelly's very much she wants you there but she doesn't want you to look okay just don't look pretend you're not there it was the same when she was giving birth she says to me Andrew make sure you don't look down there when when the baby's coming <laughs> really these are the warnings she gives you she allows you to be there but she tells you don't look anyway I think I told that story as well so anyway so I took her to the ladies right to help her with her dress and I was carrying my bag so when Costa and Kelly got married actually and when Ruth and George got married they did the, the money dance the Greek dance when the bride and groom um, dance and everybody the guests all pin money on them as the gift so instead of buying the bride and groom a gift you pin money onto the bride and groom so and of course being the mother of the groom I had let me tell you a lot of money in here all pinned looking beautiful so the minute i was gonna pin it onto the bride and groom it would all roll out and it was sitting in my clutch bag that money was sitting in my clutch bag in my very very expensive clutch bag this this is a very expensive clutch bag we're talking these kind of mm, not chanel prices but we're talking prada prices okay we're talking pra like what the prada would cost that's the kind of price. that's what it was then i don't know well what they are now but you know the last time i spoke about my gina collection people didn't really know of the gina brand but anyway i'm going anyway keep going off task started talking about the Jane and I'm on, I'm, I mean I started talking about the Alexa and the Prada and I'm on the Jane but anyway quickly so I sat my bag on on the windowsill you know because Kelly had me all flustered you know holding getting up her dress so she can have a pee and then of course she gets stage fright because I'm there but she can't do anything else because I yeah, she needs to pee. She needs somebody to hold all this dress up. So I'm, I'm like this. And Kelly, honestly, I can't see anything. Just pee, for goodness sake. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I can't even remember if she peed or not, but she probably did because she was bursting for the pee. But anyway, I walked out. Mm hmm Flustered, you know. Dealing with Kelly and her stage fright and her dress and all of that. Left my bag in the ladies on the windowsill full of money so between what was in my bag and the worth of the bag somebody could have hit a big jackpot so um eventually i never even noticed so we went out i carried on chatting with the guests totally forgetting about my bag until the um radiographer radiographer rave 
did that come? The videographer approached me and says, Andre, I've just been to the ladies and I have found your bag. And I was like, and she knew it was my bag because she'd been videoing me. She'd had the camera on me all day. <laughs> well, not just on me. Obviously, she had the camera on the bride and groom as well. <laughs> but anyway, and, and honestly, I, I don't think I even walked to, um, away to check. But the minute she handed me the bag, I was like this. I, I was literally like this. <laughs> I didn't even, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, that was the story of the Gina bag. Where was I? Okay, the crystals. So, you, you've all said to me about, you would worry, not all of you. I'm, look, I'm exaggerating, right? A couple of you have said that you would worry about the crystals falling off. Well, one thing I would do is I would make sure when buying the Prada bag, if I bought the Prada bag, um, that they would heat stamp them back on. I don't know how they do them on, on that, but I would make sure that they would put them back on because that actually happened with this bag. I lost a couple of crystals on the bag and I just sent it back to Gina. I emailed them and they said, just send us the bag and they fixed it for me free of charge you know which is what i would expect when i'm paying the price this kind of price so yeah i i would make sure when purchasing the prada bag i would say to them if a crystal fell off would you fix it the other thing is that was mentioned as well in the comments was about the crystals catch they're not going to catch because the actual crystals don't catch crystals and things like that catch when they're in when they're placed in the metal things with metal teeth so that's what actually catches it's not it's not the crystals that catch they just wouldn't catch and i mean i have shoes made entirely of this let me show you them just in case you've not seen them so these are the shoes that match the bag so that was the look at that entirely covered of Swarovski crystals these are actual Swarovski crystals and the bag as well there we go so that was the matching bag to the shoes but those of you that have been with me for a while you'll know I absolutely love them so that was the pairing for my son's wedding and then when my second son got married, George, when him and Ruth got married, I got the same shoe. And what happens, I, you actually, the way it was then, I ordered them and they were making them up for me. That's how it was. And these are even high and I got them in the gold. I didn't get the matching bag at the time to them because my heart desired a little walk. And I thought, <laughs> I'm just gonna get that. I was wearing a long red dress and so you could just see the diamonds of that and then the gold bag, iridescent gold walk, just matched everything well. So anyway, and none of these crystals have fallen off. But again, if a crystal had fallen off, I would send them away back to Gina and just get the crystals put back on because they are far too expensive to have a crystal missing on them, a Swarovski crystal missing on them okay and it's not like a crystal that you can just go and get glued on i mean if you know what the crystals are like on genus shoes you, you can tell them you know miles away it's just the way they cut they cut into certain shapes it's not i know you can get lots of shoes like this in the shops with crystals but you just know a gina crystal when you see a gina crystal okay so so that's about the prada bag and you see this this bag here is a very dressy bag and i think although the prada one can be dressy i see that more as a casual bag like i see me carrying that bag i was saying to my daughter you know so i think i wrote this in in the comments as well because you like to visualize these things you know when, when i want a bag i visualize myself how i would wear that bag so i see myself wearing that bag in cyprus the sun beaming down on those crystals sparkling on the prada bag my white hermes sta sandals with a white pair of shorts a casual t-shirt prada bag over my shoulder 
twinkle, twinkling in the sunshine with those Hermes sandals, plain Hermes sandals because the bag's doing all the talking. Nice pair of designer sunnies. Bing! How beautiful. Can you see it, people? Casual. But oh my God, that bag could just... just mm -mm -mm. Simple but absolutely stunning okay but as you know this is like this is dressy you know even though it's not covered you know the minute it's a clutch i think it, it dresses things up i love a clutch bag i have a selection of clutch bags okay now for the alexa loved it honestly when i saw the alexa i was like oh but you see i put a great deal of thought now in everything i, buy, I always have you know, and I don't like to buy bags that do the same thing. And I think the Alexa, as beautiful as it is, is very, very similar to my wire sale bag. And I think the wire sale bag is similar to the Peshit Metis. Let me get all them out. Let me get it out. Let's do some nice eye candy here with bags we haven't talked bags for a long time so i think i don't think the alexa is similar to this i don't know why but this is you know it's all in the eye of the beholder so i don't think the alexa is similar to this but i think the wire cell is similar to this but i think the alexa is very very similar to to this bag here so i think whatever job the alexa would do this will do and that's why um that's the thing that puts me off the alexa the mini alexa i mean it's really really especially that that gold it's like wow and i loved the gold but i have so much of that sort of color going on um yes see how much thought i put into it but see the the Prada is, you know, it's, it's different, I think, to anything I have. And the Prada bag reminds me of the days when you would buy a bag because you just, you, you would walk into the shop and you loved it. And that's what happened to me with the, with the Prada bag. Because I had no interest in the bag. When I watched my, friend, my YouTube friends unboxing the Prada bag, I was like, it was like oh, another gimmick. Honestly, that's what I thought. And then, because I was in Fraser's, or oh, the house of Fraser's, which it was pointed out to me, um, I thought, let me go and have a look at what Prada's got in here. Because I was filming, and I kid you not, as I, I walked in, I had it right in the front. I, I literally went, wow. I was not expecting that to be as beautiful. Completely forgot I had my camera as well. Like, I was hold. normally I would walk in kind of hide the camera and the sales assistant was right there and I was literally standing there and I was like oh my goodness I didn't I wasn't filming at the time I was just holding the camera and I said oh, oh, honestly really took my breath away oh, I just looked around there and Yota's gonna go you left your Chanel bag open that's because I've been using it I've been using it as my everyday bag okay as I am here do you know I bought a mascara which was the only thing I bought and I haven't taken it out. Oh, it's there. There we go. There's my mascara. Because I needed a mascara. So I bought a mascara. And I'm not closing my bag either. And it's all a mess. And the chain is sitting on there. And Yota's going to have an absolute fit. Because it's all sitting lopsided. But we'll fix it in good time. Because look, everything now is sitting everywhere. So that's my thoughts on the Prada v v alexa but thank you so much i really enjoyed seeing all your comments and your views on it and then when i counted it out there it was really really interesting to see and i have been loving this you know this adding the wee bits at the end to see who actually watches and it's so good and like i said in my other vlog seeing new names names that i haven't seen before leaving leaving a comment's been truly truly amazing and and the other thing is is the fact that you actually take the time to do that because i did i explained that how it helps my channel and you actually took the time to thumbs up and to leave a comment and to watch to the end wow honestly 
thank you i keep saying thank you but it it really does mean a lot to me it really really does mean a lot to me so thanks very much again so yeah the other thing i was going to tell you i was chatting to my cousin yesterday and um just in case you miss this so you may have heard me talking about my auntie and my cousin my cousin nasia and my auntie maria well we've only really got in touch with each other again in the last couple of years because we kind of lost touch um because my auntie was actually married to my uncle my mum's brother and then they divorced so just through time we kind of lost touch but i was very close to my auntie growing up anyway i just thought i would add that because you know not everybody knows what's going on so that's my cousin nasa so she phoned me yesterday and she was talking to me and she says do you know i clicked onto your dementia playlist and again for those of you that don't know my mum had dementia and my mum lived with me and in my very first videos you would always see my mum in the background because I had to I had to I was looking after my mum I had to have my mum beside me anyway and um but I did do a few videos on dementia and when I started my YouTube cha channel, that was my intention. I wanted to bring awareness to dementia because honestly, if you haven't lived with somebody with dementia, you, you honestly, you, you can't believe what an awful, awful disease it is. Anyway, uh, so she says to me, I clicked on and she says she, she said to me you know i don't cry often but those videos really were really quite upsetting to her to see my mum change because she remembered my mum before her dementia you know and then to see my mum to see what dementia had done to my mum she, she found it heartbreaking and because i had been talking to her about it i am um, clicked onto the video so like I said to you I, I watched <laughs> obviously I went from watching videos on the Prada crystal bag and then it was just that my cousin what she was saying to was coming to mind and I clicked onto the videos and honestly it was, I found it really upsetting especially the one that I clicked on was a couple of months before my mum actually died and I when I looked at my mum and I thought, oh my God, I, d I don't remember her looking so bad. And I found it so upsetting. Because I was living with her, you get used to seeing the person deteriorate. And, but when you look back on it after years, so it's three years since my mum has passed and and it was a week that she was really having a really bad time you know i don't think the doctors really knew what was going on with her she was obviously dying now we know she was dying and they you know apart from her dementia which she had the worst type of dementia because she lost her speech as well she couldn't speak um she they had diagnosed her that week with Parkinson's. She'd had blisters on her hands. I'd had the fire brigade out that week because her hand swelled up and she'd put her ring on a, a, a different finger. She'd pulled it off her ring, put it on, and it got stuck. I had to get the fire brigade out to pull off her ring. And I'm trying not to get upset here. And it was really... Uh, when I, I I was like, oh my god, she looked she looked awful. She looked and it broke it really broke my heart. Seeing my mum like that again, you know. Um so I walked down and and I was saying to Rico and obviously he could see how upset and I said to him, Do you know what? My mum oh I, I do you know what was upsetting me as well? I just thought I really got upset because I just took, oh my god, she suffered. She really, 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 really suffered. 
And he says, but we knew, we knew that the disease was making her suffer. And it's horrible because you think, why, why, why did my mum have to suffer that horrible disease? And so anybody who's dealing with somebody in their family with dementia, oh my God, my heart goes out to you because I've always called dementia a thief because it, it, it takes absolutely everything everything and in a, in a lot of cases it takes their family away because dementia is so hard to deal with that the family can't cope and they have to put their loved ones in a home because it is so hard to cope with everything because <sighs> I wasn't expecting this to go here but anyway what I wanted to say here was that and what I went on to say to you know, my mum always used to say to me, Andre, enjoy life now that you can, now that you want to. She used to say to me, this was before her dementia, but you know, th through age, she used to say to me, wear what you want to wear now that you can. She says, because you'll come to a time in your life where you'll not want to do the things anymore you, you just won't be bothered to do them do them do what you can and enjoy your life that's what she always used to say to me she said to me all the time you know enjoy it enjoy your life make the most of it sometimes i'd say to her oh god do you, do you think this is too short whereas i i, I had, although i had a really really strict upbringing i Clothes wise, my mum and dad would oh, wear it, you know, wear, wear, wear it as short as you want, wear the lipstick, wear this. Although my parents were really, really strict, they were never strict about clothing being short, being this, being that. But that was the thing my mum used to always say to me enjoy it, enjoy it, embrace it, and make the most of it. She always used to say that to me. So, so what I'm going to say to you is get be excited about your life don't get to a certain age and think oh i can't do this because of my age or i shouldn't be doing this because of my age or i shouldn't be skipping you'll all see me if you follow me on instagram i skip in the in the streets i we hop along with georgie i do silly things all the time like my grandson said why is yaya not what was it he said why I think what he was trying to say is why is she so boring on YouTube when she's not really boring in life. But I think he put it a nice way. I can't remember what he said, but um, because I haven't grown up yet and I still want to get excited about my life. I don't. I'm not ready to sit back and say, "Oh, I'm I'm too old for that," or oh, "I can't do this," because this is my life. And like my mum said, make the most of it. So. I'm passing on my mum's advice to you. Get excited about your life, make the most of it, and enjoy it. Anyway, if you've reached this far, <laughs> give me the hug emoji. Is there a hug emoji? I think there is a hug emoji. <laughs> give me the heart emoji. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, if you want to see more from me, there's a video here, here, and if you're not already subscribed, just press the A here and get excited about your life.